Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the part 4 of the video series. And in this video we are going to talk about Nest.js with the Kafka JS. Okay. So in the last video we talked about Nest.js microservices with the Kafka where we were using the microservices provided by Nest.js uh, with the Kafka transport. But I mean there are two types of architecture. One way you can just use the Nest.js microservices where you create a gateway or a publisher and then there is a consumer. And then there is another type of architecture. Let's say I have just a one service, which is just, and I'm not using Nest.js microservices. I just have some mechanism. When you hit an API, I post the data to the Kafka and I'm using Kafka JS library. So I'm not just, I'm, I'm writing my own native implementation for integrating with the Kafka. I will be creating Kafka producer, Kafka consumer, Kafka producer will put the messages on the Kafka and Kafka consumer will read the messages from the Kafka. So here we are going to create Nest.js reusable module which contains a Kafka producer, Kafka consumer and Kafka consumer will have a smart capability to retry the connection, uh, reprocess the messages when there is a failure. So it's like a reusable package we are creating which talks about simple maybe a simple node.js with the Kafka JS because if you just remove the nest.js classes it's a simple node.js with the Kafka JS we are going to have a simple nest.js module where we will create a producer service consumer service and we will talk about this implementation end to end so what we are going to do three step process uh, we are going to create a Kafka JS library in the npm workspace npm workspace we have already created or you can refer my previous video how we are setting up uh, npm uh, nest.js workspace then we are going to create a we are going to see how we can connect to the kafka using kafka js library we, will, we are going to create a kafka producer kafka consumer and we are going to check all the conditions how to connect how to disconnect uh, how to do the retries from the consumer side how to publish the message to the kafka in the right way using Kafka service. So we are going to create this reusable module in the Nest.js library. Okay, so let's get started. If you are watching this video, then I will recommend that also take a look on the previous video because with that you will be able to understand the folder structure. It's like nothing rocket science. It's just a simple Nest.js workspace with the three different applications created. We are going to use the same structure. Here we are going to add a library in this Nest.js workspace. So there is a simple command which will help us to create a library and uh, next generate a library and library name Kafka. So it is going to create inside a lib folder. And uh, okay, we I'm maybe I'm not creating it in the correct directory. And here I will be just generating this library. Okay, that is created. So this is a simple library we have created, which contains the Kafka module Kafka service and rest all the other things we will start adding here because we want to create a Kafka reusable module which contains Kafka producer, Kafka consumer, Kafka producer service, Kafka consumer service. So how the overall structure looks like that also we will talk about. I'm just creating the files here because this is going to be a Nest.js module. Consumer is responsible for connect, connecting to the Kafka as a consumer. And here we have a consumer service.ts. And then there is a producer service.ts. One is a Nest.js service, one is just a simple class. Producer injectable uh, service and producer, producer class. Consumer injectable class and consumer just uh, ES6 class. And then we just create an interface like what is the format of the payload, producer interface, consumer interface. And then we'll talk about overall what is the plan. So this is our uh, our plan. What we are planning to do is we are going to create Kafka module. I'm going to create a Kafka producer producer injectable service, Kafka consumer injectable service because those are part of the Nest CS ecosystem. But I'm going to use the simple ES6 classes for the producer and consumer, which will be used by Kafka consumer service or Kafka producer producer uh, injectable service. Sorry for the a mistake and here uh, we are going to this producer and consumer are going to access the kafka using kafka js client kafka js is really very important library i mean i have used uh, other libraries also before this 
Kafka JS, and they are really not good. First of all, they are in the native C and C++ and lots of issues with the Node JS versions. So if you are using Kafka JS, that is the best thing you are doing to connect to Kafka using Kafka JS client. So now uh, this is the NSJS part. I mean the NSJS module which will contain the two different services, producer service and a consumer service. And we are going to create two ESX classes, producer cl uh, class and the consumer class. And we are going to instantiate, we are going to create the object of those classes in the injectable services. I mean, I could have created the producer also injectable service, consumer also injectable services, but there is no such need. We already have a two injectable services with the Kafka module. Now, how we can create the instance of the producer using new producer, new consumer. And we are going to have a config service also. So I will create a config library because we need to pass the Kafka broker, Kafka topic name. So I have here config service and config module. Now this config service will have some configurations and we should be able to access them. Important point here is I'm going to implement a retry mechanism for the Kafka consumer. Sometimes what happens is when new message comes, there can be failure due to unknown reason. So we should be able to implement a retry mechanism so that it can retry three times before say, okay, I cannot process this message. So what we are going to do, we are going to have a simple API. API will post the message to the Kafka and then there is a Kafka consumer. So how we are going to post the message? We are going to use a Kafka producer. We already have producer class, so we'll find a way. You'll get an instance of producer, producer dot uh, maybe send this particular message. And then there is a consumer listening to the uh, particular topic where the message has arrived. Then they, there we will implement a retry mechanism and processing the message. So first of all, I'm going to create this config module, config service. So I'm going to convert this config service to app config service and app config module because config service is already available in the nest just common and, and it conflict so now we are going to i mean config service what is the use config service is just to populate the environment variable it just a pro, a provide a way using which we can uh, pass the environment variables so here i'm using config module from nest yes and i'm reading env.local or env file config module dot for root uh, if the stage is local then use env local otherwise dot env file i mean that is just a, a way to populate the environment variable so config module import them i think we have stage is nothing but environment variables like we can have two different stages local and development and here we have two different environment file env or env local okay so i need to create those files and i mean those files are nothing but will contain Okay, what is your broker URL, localhost 9092, what is the Kafka topics and any of the environment variables you wanted to manage that can be managed by this config module and config service. So this is the config module, env.local, it is reading for the local environment and the objective of this config module is to, it is like same as .env module, populate things from uh, configuration.env file to process.env. And this is my config service, app config service, and it is using this nest.js config service. And here I will just pro provide a way to populate the values inside a .env. So here there is a method public get Kafka because these are the two environment variables I wanted to get. So let's see, somewhere in the code I wanted to get, uh, know the Kafka broker. I'm not going to write process.env.broker. I have a config service which is app config service. So from app config service instance, I can do dot Kafka dot broker. App config service instance dot Kafka dot topic. Right? Just a smart way of doing it instead of writing it. So this is the conf Kafka service. What I will do is this is the injectable service I'm going to write here. This is the Kafka service and this is, I mean, one is the producer and one is consumer. Just rename them. So this end to end, it is, uh, it is overall uh, we are creating these injectable services producer and consumer and kafka module there we will import all these things these are like a shutdown hook so why i am doing this so whenever the application shut down we also need to disconnect the kafka connection to the producer producer will remove the will disconnect the kafka client consumer will disconnect the kafka client right that is important just for uh, removing releasing the connections and now inside a constructor uh, this is the Kafka consumer service and then there is a Kafka producer service. 
so here we are injecting the config service config service which we have created inside a config library config service is app config service okay and to have the config service inside a kafka module you need to import app config module because you are accessing a service so obviously you need to import a module so that nestjs won't complain about it right then kafka consumer service kafka producer service also export them so that uh, other feature modules can use the kafka consumer and producer service now it's all about writing the code and making it end to end working so in the producer service we are going to use produce uh, and consumer service we are going to write a consumer consume methods or connect methods all these utility helper methods so here we are doing a kafka producer and kafka consumer produce methods first of all get producer first of all we need to get a producer instance right so we need to take care of uh, connecting to the kafka using kafka js client and return the producer from the kafka js client library all those things we are going to do inside a get producer method here uh, i think we need to pass the topic name so i mean to which topic you are going to connect right let producer equal to this dot uh i think we need to get an instance so this dot producer dot get topic uh okay let me just import the producers here i mean we can have multiple producers so this is an array this is just like a key value pair i'm going to have map of all the producers which we have in the application map of key and value is i producer implementation this is an interface which contains connect disconnect and produce method right so we can just uh, call producer dot produce message and here we are connecting to the topic topic you can get from the config service this dot config service dot kafka dot topic simple oh no this is just a variable and you can just pass this topic here get producer topic is of type string this dot producer dot get topic so inside this map i'm going to store the producers as a key value pair okay for this topic this producer for this topic this producer so we are just maintaining the key value pairs and then if producer if we don't have the producer available in the map then we are going to call the kafka producer service i mean this map is really acting as a cache right so if uh, now here i am going to create a new producer for this particular topic right if this producer already exists we will return it otherwise we will just connect it we will just get the kafka producer and we will set it with the key value pair so key is the topic and value is the producer uh so this is simple right you can have multiple topics you can publish the message to the multiple topics so here we are just managing the key value pair in the map so we are checking first if producer exist by doing get topic for this particular topic no then create a kafka producer by calling the class by creating the instance of the class which we are going to write kafka producer which is going to use kafka js because here i didn't write any kafka js in the kafka producer service i mean this is the nestjs service and there is a es6 class so here in the nestjs service we are not doing that but in es6 class we are going to use kafka js client library to return the producer to us so here uh, we are just uh, doing simple producers and this producer kafka producer producer dot produce produce is already a method and here i'm going to return the producer so there was a typo in the brackets so let's add this uh, producer class okay now kafka producer service it's nothing but a simple es6 class which all is going to use kafka js so let's get it uh, finished as soon as possible here it implements the i producer so there are three different methods we have connect produce and disconnect okay what what is disconnect disconnect means once the application is down i mean once we are removing the application or stopping the application you should be able to the service should be able to call the disconnect method and produce is nothing but uh, producing the messages and sending the message to the kafka that is what produce will do disconnect it is just going to use uh, async. these are all async method async connect async disconnect and async produce inside constructor we are going to pass the topic topic string and the broker okay these things you will get from the another service because it's not an injectable service first of all it's just like a plain es6 class 
private read only kafka and this is our kafka producer so these are just a private variables we are creating and all these couple of methods are private a producer so this is the producer from the kafka js and private read only another variable is the logger i mean if you want to just log some messages we can use the nestjs common for the logging and now we are going to create the kafka js instance so here new kafka js so we'll just write a kafka we need to import kafka and just pass the object inside the object what all configuration it needs the broker and broker is like okay whatever the broker we are passing from the configuration and the topic right so we got the kafka instance and so we need to also connect right we need to create a producer this dot producer equal to this dot kafka dot producer you need to call it and this will give us the producer and just uh, do the logging part so this is how using the constructor of this particular class you will get a producer and now produce this dot produce dot uh, i think send method is there to send the message so to this particular topic i'm sending and what is the message payload which i'm sending that can be formatted here this is the message inside an array we are sending the message and then there is a simple disconnect all these methods are there connect this is inside a try catch because there can be failure while connecting to the uh, connecting to the kafka js using kafka js so await this dot producer dot connect so this will happen first it first we are producer will connect and then if there is any any error we can also try again inside a catch okay this dot producer dot connect again after a sleep of 5000 milliseconds so sleep is nothing but a simple set time out and resolve the promise after 5 seconds so this is a connect api disconnect is just nothing but a disconnecting the kafka this dot producer dot disconnect simple right now this class is really important for our injectable class here we are going to import this resolve everything we got the producer from this and we can do the connect so you can see once you are able to connect here we will get the producer and then we will set a topic and all these information so now if you look at overall topic overall concept what we are doing now we are writing kafka consumer i copy paste the producer code i will just change couple of things here because consumer will consume instead of produce right and in consumer you need to pass some runtime options so this is my simple consumer kafka consumer implements i consumer so, and there are a couple of methods like okay implement methods connect disconnect and consume okay constructor will act like a same here kafka new kafka and pass the broker instead of producer here we will have a consumer so this dot consumer equal to this dot kafka and this will be uh, consumer equal to this dot kafka dot do we have any method consumer so this will give us the consumer but here we need to pass the configurations what to consume what group id i need to join what topic information and all these things so that we can get from the argument which we are passing in this consume method so there are a couple of methods we are couple of argument we are passing from kafka consumer injectable service which is topic configuration and connection callback sorry callback which is on message so here we have a couple of arguments topic config and the broker information of consumer config okay so what it will do is you need to pass the config so this will give us the consumer that that's what i want and this will be connecting to the topic with this group id okay the group id we have topic we have and then it will start consuming the messages and how to consume first of all we need to connect so here on message is actually a callback event so whenever you start consuming the message what through what method we are going to process the message so that is on message which we are passing as an argument promise of type void so this is the consume method and what consume method will do is await this dot first of all i think consumer equal to subs consumer dot subscribe because once the consumer is there you can subscribe to a particular topic this dot topic and then this dot consumer dot run that method will execute when you got a message uh, on the consumer side and you are reading messages one by one so we are just running a loop here you can just run a simple loop on message is a callback function we are executing message and partition 
and you can do lots of custom things here this is where we are going to implement a retry logic so what we are doing is when you are consuming the messages what happens is uh, you will read you will retry three times and this is where we are con uh, connecting the consumer this dot consumer dot connect and disconnect this dot consumer dot disconnect simple and here we will put things inside a try catch block let's say because you are reading a message and there are possibly some errors can occur right so here we are just installing uh, all the required modules like async retry that is just a mechanism using which you can run a loop you can run a promise three times in a single iteration so here if there is a failure it will try to retry that three times so retry async retry and there is a callback function and inside a callback function we are going to execute on message function right there is a message function is there on message we are executing and retry is three times on the retry this is error while complete consuming the message retrying again just like a simple library feature it is providing and now handle the failure of the message either store the failure message in the dlq or database or somehow to track okay there is a failure in processing or consuming the particular message and it is failing even after trying for three times okay just import the kafa consumer in the kafa consumer we are passing you can see the topic config and the broker i mean in the consumer we need to pass more argument like the topic group id and the broker information this is my current ip i got because here we are using kafka js so important important thing is do not use local host right we are using because uh, kafka is is available on the host machine with this ip it has advertised the kafka on this particular ip which is nothing but my machine ip not local host and then 9092 and kafka broker kafka topic these are the two arguments we will change this variable names to this dot config dot get kafka broker and kafka topic okay now uh, this is the topic name test topic because here we are not using uh, nest js microservice we need to specify what topic you are actually producing the message and where we are consuming so this is the kafka module which contains the producer and a consumer right so inside app module what i will do is because i need some mechanism to publish the message to the kafka so here first of all add the kafka module so that i should be able to use the producer service and consumer service inside the api gateway service so there is a I, I, we just added a kafka library now we need to find a way to use the library so i added i injected a kafka module in the app module of api gateway here i can inject so here i'm just creating a create kafka test and here i can inject a producer service consumer service all these things we can just pass kafka producer service and kafka producer service dot produce or there are some methods produce so here it uh, inside a produce i think we need to pass only the message which we are going to produce so i will just pass a plain simple vanilla message okay new either you can just pass the create object or just send a simple payload now inside a payload is also of type javascript object let's convert into a string okay this is producing so we are already connected to the kafka right and here we are doing post so what we are doing is producer service dot produce producer service dot produce will also connect to the kafka make sure the connection exists and produce this message and here we are going to write a simple injectable service maybe a test consumer which is going to which keep listening to the kafka and uh, and consume the messages it implements the on module in it what it is doing it is just using the consumer service consumer injectable service and producer injectable service we already have so we can take the advantage of both the both these services to produce and consume the messages so we need to import a fconfig module because we are specifying the topics and all here we got the private read only config service of app config service and using config service i will i can know what is the topic name what is the broker url you are passing await this dot consumer dot consume right on module in it on the initialization of module itself we are started consuming the messages config this is the group id and on message this is the particular message we are going to execute on message so we talk the message in as a function messages input and this dot 
console.log whatever the message we got this is the one way just pass the message dot value so this is await so we just need to make on module init method async and this error will be resolved and now we can start the application so now what error we are getting when i hit this invalid test topic object payload so we will just try to pass this producer value and try to pass the payload dot so here you will get a message and i will just try to log it console.log message whenever the message message arrives and then console.log message dot value dot to string so the error is invalid message value that means we are just passing the directly things we just need to pass the value and it can be a simple message object but it needs to be passed with the value object produce value payload dot to string that will also work because we are converting the json object to stringified version and here i can produce this that means we can hit this endpoint and can put the messages to the kafka and here everything status code is 200 that means the message is going to the kafka okay this is the producer service producer is able to write the message to the kafka then we can have a simple consumer we already have the consumer service here we just need to fix the code here consumer right this is the injectable test consumer this but the, i think this consumer service is not added in the inside the app module so until unless you don't add it nothing will work right test module and we need to add the test module or test consumer only in the providers not in the controllers so let's take a look onto that here we got this thing so this is how we are testing the implementation so i'm just printing the value whatever the value is coming from their their side it was showing object so i'm just trying to stringify it payload dot to string but i'm going to produce a simple message i don't want to complicate it with the object value equal to my name is taro okay this is what you are sending to as uh, to kafka and then there is a consumer consumer will read this and at the at the gateway side because consumer is also a test in the gateway service there is a consumer.ts you see there we have written the logic of the consumer okay so this service is the logic has the logic how to consume the message it is uh, passing the config test consumer we have a kafka topic and whenever the message occurs we are reading it through the own message callback hook so this is overall about how can we use kafka js with the maybe node js maybe nest js we are doing it with the nest js we are not using nest js microservices we just i want to just try how i can use kafka js library to connect to produce the message and kafka js library to consume so there are uh, some vanilla es6 classes which we are which we are creating object inside the injectable services but overall this can be used as a visual module and you can start using this i will push the code to the github and stay tuned for the next topics